For those of you whose goal it is in 2025 to build an application using AI, look no further, you stumbled on one of the first and probably best videos you're gonna watch this year. Today I wanna share with you the LAP framework. And I realized after sharing this framework without giving it a name to all the consulting clients that I have, the results that they produce when building with AI was completely different. Now this video is sponsored by Bolt.new. You guys know both, Danu, one of the best tools to build any web application using AI. But before we start building, before we start getting into the weeds, I want to share with you the LAP framework. And the LAP stands for Landing Page, Authentication, Payments, and Product. I truly believe if you start with building your landing pages first, then your authentication, then payments, have that figured out, have that done, have that fully functional, and then on a separate tab, right, on a separate bolt.new project, whatever you wanna call it, you build out your product, and once you're satisfied with both, you merge them together, I truly believe you avoid hallucinations, being blocked, being stuck, and overall have a AI development cycle that's more controllable and is seamless. Now here's the reason why. This is how I have told, I have consulted people to develop their projects. First, I would have one tab, where I do the landing page, authentication, and payments. And here's the reason why. I think personally, when I've tried to build all this stuff while building my product, I don't know if it's the context, but somewhere in the application development, you get stuck. The AI hallucinates and stuff starts to happen, right? And it feels like you're trying to fix stuff, but it removes stuff. It, it, it becomes a hassle. And it's not any of these tools' faults because they can go as fast and as far as the AI models allow them to go. And obviously, as the AI models get better, so will these tools get better. One thing I found is when I separated building out the product and when I separated building out, again, the landing page, authentication, and payments, and then once I've figured out what it takes, all the prompts it takes to build out the product, and I take those prompts and I apply it to my landing page, authentication and payments, the road to completion is much more simpler and better. And I'm not the only one who can attest to this, but I've, again, consulted with over 20, 30 plus, uh, whether it be founders, CEOs, or just individuals who are looking to build with AI or integrate AI into their workflow. And I'm telling you, when they applied the lab framework, things changed. And one of the reasons I'm bullish with this framework is I definitely do think all these AI tools are going to start building uh, templates or are going to allow you to store templates. Now imagine once you've built yourself a solid landing page authentication and payments, that itself can be a template that you continue to build out on. And really what you need to focus on is your product. Now the tab one, your landing page authentication payments, it's not a difficult thing to build. It's more so the product side that people get stuck on. And here's the one big um, find that I've seen with these AI models. First, before you even start writing prompts, I would list out all the features that you need to build, all right? So maybe you have some scraping feature, some AI feature, whatever features there are, I would list them out. And if you see that your application is a bunch of big features put together, I would separate those big features into separate products themselves and build them out. Reason being is, I think a lot of non-technical people, because they're not technical, expect their first prompt to work out, their first set to work out, their, their first uh, you know step into using Bolt to work out. And truth be told, as a person who works as a full-time software developer, software engineer, I am telling you this, it never works out the first time. There are gonna be bugs. You're going to get stuck. It's going to get hard. You're going to feel like wanting to punch the screen. Welcome to software development. That is part of the game. And even as the AI tools get greater and smarter and whatever more advanced, you're still going to experience these things. If anything, I think you'll experience more bugs with AI development, right? Because there's a lot of things that are gonna be written that you might not know or even understand. So what I would do is I would list out all the features of a specific product I'm trying to build, and I would see if the feature is is can be its own standalone product that I can build, figure out the kinks, see where I get stuck, clean up all the prompts and integrate it to my main application, or if it's a small enough feature, I can, again, build it all in one product. But one thing I would 100% do is if, let's say, I wanted to build a note-taking app, I would not build the authentication, landing page, all that stuff, then build the product on top, I would separate it. I would do my landing page, authentication, payments, 
in a separate tab in a separate project so like let's say i start this here and then i go bolt out new and then i start another application here so this tab would be and i can rename it here this would be my landing page auth whatever and this would be product and then once I'm satisfied with how my product is. I'll take whatever prompt and all that stuff that I did and start working on top of my landing page authentication and payments. Doing this has yielded a lot of people that I've worked with uh, tons of results. I myself am a developer, so I like writing code. But if I were to build an application fully and I've, and I've built a couple just for funsies, um, this is how I would approach it. And if you're enjoying this framework, let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos on the lab framework. I have some more uh, methodologies and ideas I'm forming with how to use these tools. But why don't we just get into Bolt and why don't I build a simple landing page and authentication? And if you want to see payments and product integrated all together, if you want to see me build a full application using Bolt, then let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like blow this video up and I'll do that. But let's get into it. So let's say I wanted to build a sneaker reselling site so i'll just say i want to build i want to build a sneaker reselling site so i'm just gonna start it off with that it's probably going to create the landing page it's going to create something in sneaker theme now i'm not really worried about design or anything um that's up to you i just want to show you how i would go about building this and one thing i also want to mention with the lab framework the reason why I want you to start with landing pages is I think the quick wins sort of excite you. You get that dopamine hit. Um, it also gives you clarity in terms of like, you know, when you're working on the landing pages, adding the copy, whatever, whatever, it kind of gives you clarity on what it is that you're trying to build. Cause sometimes, especially with non-technical people, uh, I notice that uh, most are dreamers and they want to build all these features and put it all together. But sometimes most of it is unnecessary. You probably need one to three that really, um, is what your product is and i find that doing this gives you those quick wins that dopamine hit clarity and there's a sense of progress which always feels great right so we have ourselves this page i'm not liking this so i'm going to say i'm just going to actually close this and i'm going to start a new tab and i'm going to say create a landing page i should have been more specific of a sneaker reselling website right that one actually built like what looked like a dashboard and like cards and stuff. That's not what I'm looking for right now. That's the product tab. I'm looking to build the landing page. All right, so I have my landing page called Sneaker Vault, right? Looks pretty good so far. So what I want to do really is now I want to have a page that only authenticated users can access, right? Because when you think about authentication, the way I want you to think about it is, is okay, the user signs up. And there should be pages that only signed up users should access. And then even when you think about payments, there should be pages only signed up and paid users should access. And there should be a page where signed up and non-paying and paying users should uh, access. So you should think about um, authorization and who should have access and all these things. So I'm going to say, I want to create a simple dashboard page that users go to when they click shop now, right? So now I want there to be a simple dashboard page that I get forwarded to, that a user gets forwarded to when they click the shop now button. All right, so it's done. Let's see if I click on shop now, it takes me to another page. This is perfect. And I want to be able to click on the logo and go home. So I want to click on the logo slash sneaker vault and be taken to the home page all right so if i click on shop now it takes me to the dashboard if i click there it takes me home. so perfect so now i'm going to click on connect to superbase because we're going to set up authentication using superbase it's going to be our auth provider and our database provider too so i clicked on it it's going to be creating a project if you don't have a superbase account it will prompt you to create one all right, so now that my Superbase project has been created and connected, I'm going to say, I want to have authentication. So if a user goes to the dashboard page, but isn't authenticated, authenticated, actually, no, I want to say, 
I want to have authentication set up. Let's just do that first. Let Superbase do its setup. Once the setup is complete, we will do the specification on what page should be shown or what page shouldn't be shown. All right, it's asking me to do some, uh, it's going to do some changes and wants me to authorize it. So I'm gonna click apply and we're good. So let's see, does it do anything if I click shop now? No, so what we're going to do is I want to specify if I if a user is not signed in and they click on shop now, they should be authenticated. Only authenticated users can access the dashboard. All right, let's see if this works. If I click shop now, it takes me to a sign in page. I haven't signed in, so let me sign up. I'm just gonna create an account. Okay, so I wanna check my dashboard my super base dashboard, I believe this is the project that was just created. And if I go to authentication, I see that my account has been created. Okay, so this worked. And I could see that it has given me access. Now there's a couple things I want to be able to do. First and foremost, I want to be able to sign out, I should have a profile page where I can sign out. And second of all, when I create an account, it should forward me to the uh, dashboard page. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, on the nav bar, if I if the user is signed signed in, I want to see a sign out button. But if the user is not signed in, I want to see a sign in button. Remove the search icon. We don't really need it. So what well, basically what we want is on the nav bar on the top right, if the user signed in, it should say sign out. If the user is not signed in, it should say sign in. All right, so if we click sign in, it brings up this sign in form. I'm going to sign in. I'm signed in. And if I click on shop now, it takes me to the shop now. It takes me to the dashboard, which is perfect. But then if I sign out and I click shop now, it takes me here. And this is perfect. So now when I click on X, on the uh, sign in page, it just shows me a blank screen. So I'm going to say, when I close the modal on the auth slash sign in slash sign up page, I see a white screen. If I click the X, it should take me back to the home page. All right, so let's try that again. I'm going to click shop now, click X takes you to the home page. Now you can have it. So this is its own standalone page, but for now we'll just have it at this. I just wanted to get the, the lamp, the lap framework in your head. So now one thing I want to make sure is that when I create an account that it forwards me to the shop now page. So I want to say after a user creates an account, please forward them to the dashboard page. So again, Going back to this framework, I'm getting this part done. So I'm getting the landing pages to my liking, the authentication to my liking, and then integrating payments and making sure that works. And then once I have this done, I can go on tab two, or you can, you don't have to finish all of this necessarily. Maybe you can start a little bit of this and then work on the product side, but I would separate these. This separation makes it so that um, the landing page authentication and payments context doesn't affect the product and that you can focus on the kinks and making sure the product is up to your standard. Okay, so it looks like I have some errors. I'm just going to say attempt to fix. I'm going to say when I click on shop now, nothing happens. It's supposed to take me to the sign in, sign up page. And this is why, again, this framework says separate this and this. Imagine you had been working on your product and now something in this realm broke and you trying to fix this could affect something on the product side, right? So this is why I suggest uh, the lab framework, especially if you're a first time or building with AI, for you to use this. So if I click on shop now, perfect. I'm going to click sign up and I'm going to sign up with this email, create an account and... Okay, so it forwarded me, which is great, uh, but I it, I did not like how it looked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, when, after I click create account, show loading state, then 
forward me to dashboard. And if we get this done, then I'll be pretty satisfied with what I have showed you. Again, the point of this isn't to build a full application, but to show you the framework that I would use if I were building with AI or that other people who have consulted with me are using to build with AI. And if you want to see me build a full application with AI, make sure to like, make sure to comment. That being said, I'm gonna click on shop now. I'm going to sign up with this email. Well, I don't have an account here, so perfect. I'm gonna click create account, load it, and it took me to the dashboard page. This is what I'm talking about. I'm super happy that that worked out. Again, ladies and gents, that is the lab framework for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you're going to see, you're going to use this framework and see the fruits of it and see how excellent this works. I've been Ross Mike. Thank you so much for watching this video. 2025 is our year. We're going to get it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.